You're okay with your hair looking like that? <laughs> like what? Ugh. <laughs> 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 So we're back and I think it's been a really good week. I bought a brand new car so that was pretty exciting. Today was so beautiful that we went for a hike and it was so lovely that I forgot to even bring my phone. So I guess that's how you know it's good. Oh and on Wednesday we left for Chattanooga. So we're spending the weekend at the boat show in Chattanooga. If any of y'all are southeastern boaters maybe we'll see you down there. But all week long we kept getting comments about one thing and one thing only. <laughs> Basically, everybody wanted to know, above all else... Not, did you hit a 360 on the surfboard today? <laughs> did you have a fun time boating? Was it pretty? Did you see a rainbow? Nope. Everybody wants to know, where does the dog shit poop? go? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Where does the dog poop? Where do all dogs poop? <laughs> the second question that we get, I have a bicycle. I like the mountain bike. Oh my gosh, everybody talks about that bike I have bike a mountain too. bike. It's sitting outside of the house. Everybody goes, where do you ride that at? Oh, well, you can, you can I ride, ride it on the mountain bike trails. <laughs> it's like in apartments when people have the bike in the balcony. It's like, do you think they ride the bike in the balcony? That's just where they store it. Same thing. We're not trying to be smart. It's just a funny question that we get all the time. That one's not about poop. That's just for free. Well, it doesn't like all it. have to be about poop. It's the poop episode. I think first we should start with um, our septic and then let the grand finale, Ico's potty break, just steal the show. So when you live on a boat, all of your wastewater goes into a tank. That tank gets pumped by a guy that pumps boats. That person works in your harbor. You can either have on demand pump outs. You may just get pumped out once a week, once every two weeks. All depends on where you live and how it works. Here, we pump out once a week. We pump everybody out, whether they need it or not. We have a grant that we wrote for North Carolina Wildlife, and they pay for most of our pump outs. That way it helps keep the water clean. People get a cheap pump out. The government covers it, your tax dollars. That's actually a good use of tax dollars. Anyway. Yeah, keeping our poop. I mean, you can imagine if that was not subsidized, it would get pretty expensive to pay per gallon to pump out your tank. And it would be pretty easy to just be like, I think I'm gonna put that in the lake if you didn't really care. When I first came here, it was $2 a gallon to pump out your boat. So we got with North Carolina Wildlife, wrote us a grant. Now everybody pays five bucks for their pump out. We pump all their wastewater out and it goes to a facility and they- Treat it like normal. Probably turn it back into drinking water. <laughs> probably. <laughs> so our sink, our shower, our washing machine, and our toilet, all go into a tank. And once a week, that tank gets pumped. Now granted, we have water saving devices, sinks, shower heads, all that, so that we don't put as much water. When you live on a boat, you count every second that the water's running. We're blessed in this harbor, we have city water ran to the vessels that are on moorings. So there's a water line that's stretched out through the harbor, it goes to each boat. We have an unlimited supply of water. It's great. It's got a lot of chlorine in it, so we filter it with a big water filter for drinking. The rest of it, nothing to it. We just use it. Each little thing that you get like that when you live on a boat is your next step towards heaven. Each little utility is a blessing that you would never even knew was a blessing because it's, you live in yeah. a house and your power just cuts on, your light switches work, your water works, your septic does whatever. But in a boat, none of that is standard necessarily, so you really don't take any of it for granted. We had to put each one of those things in and I feel like yep. that's made us a lot more A, conscientious of how much of those things we use, but also B, super grateful for those things. We had one comment somebody wanted to know about a composting toilet. Composting toilets are great. The problem with a composting toilet is your urine is separated from your solids. You've got to do something with that urine. You can't just pour it out in the lake. It's kind of a headache. So, no, we have a macerating toilet. It chops everything up into fine particles, puts it in there. Then when they pump it, it pumps out, it goes up the lake. Nothing to it. 
So this toilet doesn't normally just hold water in it like most toilets do. You're gonna wanna bring the water into it. And then when you're ready to flush, flip it the other way. That's really the only difference between this and a normal toilet is that it's not just always filled with water. You kind of have to manually do it. This also has one of those really nice like non-slam lids, just super helpful in a tiny space where noises echo. When you can choose the amount of water that goes in your toilet, you're not wasting water. You don't have to worry about flushing a gallon every time. Look, we're on a boat. We're rocking. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Where, Where does, does the dog, dog poop? poop? Well, I just find it so funny though that like out of everything you could possibly be curious about with a floating cabin, the number one question, and is it not like by a landslide, specifically poop. I go. Some people's dogs just go on the dock and then they hose it off. And she definitely it. won't go on our dock. We get up at seven in the morning. We have a work boat. We run over to the bank in it. She jumps off, she chases squirrels. Sometimes she's back in two minutes, sometimes she's back in 30 minutes. Sarah does yoga. I stare at the sunshine and drink my morning cup of coffee. I hope you don't stare about. at the sunshine, just to. Actually, I stare right into it. <laughs> I like the sun, it makes me feel good. But no, it really does depend a little bit on what we're doing that day. I feel like it can vary from day to day a lot. Sometimes we just take her over there and then sometimes if we're, if we're heading out, if I'm going for a trail run or something, we take her with us. Some dogs are different. There are boat owners here that have dogs that will literally swim in the water and go to the bathroom and then get back on the boat. Yeah, they have these little doggy rams, which we've thought about installing for Iko. Our dog won't do that. I just don't think she'll do it. She's so persnickety about stuff like that. So, when we wake up tomorrow morning, we will show you what a typical potty break looks like for Iko in the mornings. You ready? Yeah? Where you wanna go? You wanna go over there? Yeah, yeah? Okay. That was not supposed to go. Where the tall, tall pine trees grow, they live a jelly roll. And Fun out of boating 